Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to Navrangi Navratri. Today is day eight, which is the second last day of Navrangi Navratri. Cannot believe we've come so far into this series. Uh, for today's look, the color is purple. I know you can hear a lot of chun chun because I'm wearing bangles. Bangles make me very very happy, and I've really struggled to like. Fit these into my uh, wrist, but anywho, uh, this is the look I came up with. It's very, very dramatic on the eye and the makeup and the whole accessory and dressing wise is very Gujarati. This is as Gujarati as it gets from my side. Uh, so I do actually really like this outfit and the whole attire. I think I'm gonna wear this for Garba one of these days. But anyway, if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. But before that. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure that you are. I have uploaded seven videos up until now. This one's the eighth, and one more is coming for Navrangi Navratri. And if you want to see more such beauty and beauty reviews and tutorials and all of that fun stuff, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it. For now, if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. Starting with priming my face as usual using the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. Applying this to my T zone and massaging it well into my skin. For foundation, I'm taking the Pack HD foundation in the shade 4.2, pumping a little bit of this on my face and then blending it into my skin with the Real Techniques Miracle Sponge. For concealer, I'm taking the Pack Spotlight Concealer in the shade 10 Mocha and then applying it in the usual areas like you can see. And then blending it in with the tip of the Real Technique sponge. For powder, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Luxury Powder in the Banana shade, taking a little bit at the back of the cap and just lightly pressing it into my skin with the sponge, not putting too much. Like I said, this powder is drying in the previous video, so I'm just going to apply very little and then dust it off immediately. For bronzer, I'm taking the Sivana Colors Bronze Professional and using the dark brown and the light brown colors, mixing them together on the Pat 214 brush and then placing it in the usual bronzing areas. For blush, I'm taking the Color Bar Feel the Rain Duo and I'm taking only the blush from this on the e.l.f. stippling brush and placing this on my cheeks. The blush is my favorite component of this palette. I don't really like the highlight that much and so I'm going in with the Colourpop Super Shock Highlighter in the shade Peer Pressure, taking this on my middle finger and just blending it into my skin. These shadow, these super shock highlighters work best with your fingers. You just need to take a little bit and blend it into your skin slowly and you'll find the most beautiful glow. For setting my face in place, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish Makeup Fixer and then going to pick up any excess product with my sponge. For my eyebrows, I'm using the Miss Claire Waterproof Eyebrow Pencil in the shade 02 Coffee Brown. Uh, is it 02? I'm not sure, but this is the Coffee Brown shade. I'm just filling in the bald patches and then blending it in with the brush that comes with the pencil. For my eyes today, I'm taking the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going to use the shade Mocha which is a lovely cool toned brown color taking this on the pack 122 brush which is a pointed crease brush and laying it down on my crease as well as my lid just as a base transition color then I'm taking the darker brown shade which is called chip and I'm taking this on the pack 203 brush which is the dense packing brush and packing this on the outer corner of my eye to add some definition. For my main lid shadow I am taking this purple color in the palette which is called royalty on my finger and then placing it all over my lid. with the pack 311 brush and no shade whatsoever just going to buff everything very well into my crease for my inner corner as well as brow bone highlight I'm taking the shade beam in the palette which is the best best uh, highlighting shade for your eyes 
And then for my lower lash line, I'm taking the same shades Mocha and Chip and buffing out my lower lash line. For eyeliner, I'm taking the Nykaa Black Magic Liquid Liner and I'm just going to place a very small line over my lash line, not drawing a wing or anything. For Kajal, I'm using the Faces Magnet Eyes Kajal. I love this Kajal. It's super affordable and super pigmented. Also does not smudge on your lower lash line and make you look like a panda. So I love it. For mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Once again, one of my favorite mascaras coating my top as well as bottom lashes with it. For falsies, I'm taking the Glomia Beauty eyelashes in the style um, Soho. These are again really dramatic eyelashes, so I'm going to just apply these to my eyes. And then for lipstick, I'm taking the Kat Von D Long Lasting or Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita 2. This looks really pink at first, but then settles down to a lovely nude color. For my hair, to set my hair, I'm taking the Argan Deluxe Curling Cream and then I'm going to just uh, take a little bit on my hand and massage it well into the ends of my hair to define my curls. And then at my very poor attempt to do my hair, I'm going to try to separate what is uh, my freshly cut fringes or whatever you call that front thing and uh, try to create a puff with two TikTok pins and it doesn't come out so well on camera so I go off camera and correct it. And for my outfit, I'm, I've gone in with the classic way that Mumbai people dress for the Shera or Navratri Garba time. And uh, this is by just wearing black top, black pants and uh, tying a Bani Dupatta. So this is the purple element. The purple Bani Dupatta is my purple element for the look. And then I'm adding some really cool, chunky, oxidized jewellery to complete this look. All this jewellery that I'm wearing is from my trip to Kolkata. So this is from the street shopping of Kolkata. Except for the piece I'm wearing in my neck which is borrowed from a friend so I'll ask her from where she got it and leave it in the description section. So yeah that completed the entire look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did then don't forget to hit the like button. If you're not already subscribed to my channel please make sure that you are. There's just one day of Navrangi Navratri left and I will see you guys tomorrow for that. Bye guys. Love you all.